Question 1. List any four symmetrical objects from your home or school. So following are the four symmetrical objects you can see here which are found in home or school. Number first is the blackboard. Well, the line of symmetry in this case can be two. If you don't take these chalks, this will be symmetrical. So if you place mirror here, you'll be able to get the other side. Now for table, this is the line of symmetry. If you place mirror, a big mirror, then you will be able to see the other figure. So it has also another line of symmetry. Line of symmetry is something that whenever a mirror image is formed there, it just makes the other part of the image. So this is the pair of scissors. And this is the compact disc or the CD. Here also you can make many number of line of symmetry. So these are four symmetrical objects from your home or school. Second, for the given figure, this is your given figure. Which one is the mirror line, L1 or L2? So, on which line should our mirror be placed in order to get the whole picture? So, L1, we will not be able to make it because the triangle will come down. But L2 will definitely make the other part of this house or the figure. This part. So, L2 is correct in this case. So that was your second. L1 is the mirror line. Question third. Identify the shapes given below. Check whether they are symmetrical or not. Draw the line of symmetry as well. So what we see in A part, this is a lock and indeed it is a symmetrical because if we drop a vertical line of symmetry that is crossing straight away from the between, we will be able to get the other part. Okay, therefore it is symmetrical. Now B part, this is a bucket and it is also symmetrical when we place again line of symmetry vertical crossing from the center. We will be able to get the other part. So this was your B. Now C part, well this figure is not symmetrical. Take any of the line of symmetry, you will not be able to get the reflection, mirror reflection of one position. This is a telephone the older version of telephone found in 1980s so if you put a vertical line here you will be able to get the other way of or the other picture of this telephone now E is symmetrical but not with vertical it is symmetrical with horizontal like this and of symmetry you will be able to get the other part of this figure now we have pentagon as you have studied in your geometry sessions. So if we drop a vertical line of symmetry, we will be able to get the other part. You can clearly visualize it. Okay. Therefore, this was your question number third. Fourth, copy the following on a squared paper. A squared paper, this is your square paper, is what you would have used in your arithmetic notebook to find the area. You might Remember it in the earlier classes, then complete them such that the dotted line is a line of symmetry. Okay, this is the dotted line where you place your mirror or the reference point in order to make the figure symmetrical. So, let's make this part on this graph that we have constructed on the right hand side. So, initially, what we have, we have to cross diagonally to the third. So, we have made it, and we'll do this part one, two, three, we'll go for three. We are just making its copy. Now the line of symmetry is vertical. This is your line of symmetry. Now we will copy it to the same 1, 2, 3 diagonals of the square. And again, we will connect it back. So we are able to make symmetry in this figure. So this is how we will do rest of the parts. That was your A part. Now B. First let's count. There are two lines that this figure used. So we will go for two. 
on paper you will be able to make it very fine now two horizontal then we have one and two vertical again so we will make them then again we have two horizontals so one and two then two verticals downwards so going for that then diagonals one two crossing two squares so one and two so the line of symmetry is horizontal here it's construct now we'll just trace the above figure so two vertical downwards and then two horizontal and then the dots go away so we will go away from the mirror or the reference line then two horizontal towards the reference line in comparison to the reference line then we are coming closer to so we will go closer to the reference line two times and then diagonal that connects the reference line so this is how you make it you can make it very fine on paper now see part this is your reference line here the reference line is of 45 degrees so first it goes two squares then one horizontal two vertical and then one horizontal and then it goes one vertical and then as you can see from the figure one two three four so four one two three four now here angle is 45 here it was 180 and here it was 90 degrees so the image will also become 45 degrees so we went three now we'll go three 45 degrees with reference to mirror now we are coming closer one step towards mirror because it was closer then we are moving away we are moving two steps or you can say two squares away from the figure and now we are coming back one square and then we are going again one square away now it's just a matter to connect to the mirror one two three four so one two three four so you can see we got the symmetrical figure that was your c part with reference to your line of symmetry now first we will make the figure on this square paper using the same concept two diagonals then then two horizontal lines then one vertical downwards and then one as you can see in the figure horizontal so that makes a figure now we may draw the line of symmetry is vertical so you can see here it is very easy just connect it in order to form the symmetry so the triangle is formed now it's a matter to just make this rectangle so here we have made a little tiny house that makes a line of symmetry e part we will do again connecting two diagonals first of all connect it then we will go to the other part of the figure to ease our process we will do it afterwards because that will connect automatically to the last point so let's move to the other side so this is the other side it is one two three away three squares away so making three squares distance then we are moving three diagonals or three squares one two three touching the third ones 
right hand bottom side so we will do the same so we'll draw from here 23 squares bottom right hand side then we go two diagonals touching the second bottom left hand side we connect it so this is what we were saying we'll just connect the last part that will be correct because two points are joined by a line that we have studied earlier so let's make the line of symmetry so now we will draw it in the same angle two diagonals we have drawn it away from the reference line or you can say conceptual mirror now we'll do the same with the same length in opposite three diagonals now we have two diagonals to pass away from the reference so we will go two diagonals away it will be towards this side we have done and last line we even don't have to study or count the number of squares we just simply connect it so that makes your line of symmetry and your symmetrical figure last part f part first of all we will make this two vertical lines or two squares connected then two horizontally connected then what we have two diagonals so let's make two diagonals square correct then two verticals and then two horizontals so this is how we use square paper to easily construct our figures we are not even actually measuring it with the help of a ruler then one vertical and then one diagonal and then finally connecting it now let's construct the reference line or the mirror line or where you can actually place the mirror now just tracing it backwards in order to make the symmetrical figure so it was going 45 degrees let's make it 45 degrees with the reference of a line again here 45 degrees one square distance then we simply connect it as it was done in the actual figure this can be made perfectly on paper here it may not be made that much perfect then connecting to 45 degrees towards 245 degrees away from the mirror line then two distances apart then we will from the other side because the last side we can easily connect and we have two last points the last parts can be easily combined we don't need any other help because two points always makes a line so this is how you are able to make the symmetrical figures using your square paper that was the question number four Question 5. In the figure, L is the line of symmetry. So this is your line of symmetry where you can make the figure symmetrical based on the given figure. So now, what you have to do is complete the diagram to make it symmetrical. So let's first of all see, this is your vertical line. You can easily trace back it vertical downwards. You can always check the length of it, how much you have to make it using the ruler now this is your angular towards your horizontal line l now we can make it by measuring first of all the angle but here we are doing it just for the demonstration so you can also place the arrow so this was very easy you just have to keep track of ruler and your measure of this angle that was your fifth part now sixth in the figure l is the line of symmetry so this is your line of symmetry Draw the image of the triangle and complete the diagram so that it becomes symmetric. So now you are forced to place the line of symmetry here. So it makes two regions. This is second region. This is first region. So let's first discuss the first region. Okay. So forget about the second region. 
now making this angle like this for the first smaller region and this line to the same angle towards this side suppose this is a mirror placed and the image will just look like this now connecting this with the line as it is connected so we are able to make the symmetrical figure with the with the first part that we have considered our first part now let's consider the second part so this is your second part forget about first forget about what we have made so far now we have to make for the second this arrow like this triangle like so it will come somewhere here you can always measure the distance from this to this now to make it perfect using ruler now we connect it similarly we'll connect the other line you can connect it as shown so we have made the symmetrical figure for the second part so this all completes for the both parts and we are able to make the diagram symmetrical so that was the last question question number six